Hi there guys, welcome back to the Farant channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to mine a Satox coin, and I'll also be showing you guys how to set up your wallet, and giving you guys a little bit of a run over who Satox coin is, and what their purpose is. Right, so before I jump into the video and show you guys how to mine Satox coin, let's talk a little bit about Satox coin and get a bit of an understanding what the project is about. So Satox coin is a play to earn project. Okay, so this is the first play to earn without the need for dedicated servers. The first play to earn that works on 310 plus games on Steam and the first play to earn that works with gaming consoles, so the Xbox and the Steam Deck. So what is Satox coin? Satox will always be a proof of work oriented train. The Satox project has a primary mission to implement play to earn, but only in split consensus with proof of work. True Crypto was founded with the concept of proof of work mining and shall remain so in the future. We have taken a unique approach to play to earn. We are redefining the concept and we believe this is the correct way to earn crypto rewards in 2023. You can play your favorite games on Steam. Users have already earned Satox on 265 plus games on Steam. There's no restrictions on servers. Play like normal and earn a fair share of Satox. Like I say, guys, myself personally, uh, I found out about Satox maybe a few weeks ago from somebody that I was playing a different game with and I've earned just a fair few thousand of the coins and I feel like it's interesting enough to go ahead and show you guys this and let you guys take your own opinion and let yourself see if you guys want to play some of the games or maybe even go ahead and mine some of the cryptocurrency. Right, so now that we have an understanding of what Satos coin is, let's go ahead and move on to getting ourselves a wallet. So what we're going to need to do is take ourselves over to sataverse.io. We'll be leaving all the links down in the description. Go ahead and press on the wallet option right there at the top. Go ahead and click on the core wallet. And what you're going to need to do if you are on Windows yourself is you're going to need to go and click on the windows.tar.xz and download that wallet from there or click on the pre-compiled version from the one below. Or you can even click, like I say, the one that's there. Now, once you've downloaded this, go ahead and open this up with WinRAR or 7-SIP. Then all you're gonna need to do from here is extract this from your folder and maybe make a folder on your desktop that says something like Satox Wallet and then drag and drop those three into there and then what you need to do from there is just simply just run your satox coin qt and follow the installation process from there once you have done this you'll have a wallet that looks similar to this one or exactly the same in fact it should look exactly the same from this point okay so what we're gonna need to do is really either just go take ourselves over the receiving tab and create ourselves a you know mining wallet so go ahead and name that or whatever you like go ahead and copy yourself the address for the sake of this video I'm gonna be using the address that I always use when I'm you know testing out or mining on Satox coin at this point so let's take ourselves back over to the internet browser and let's take a look over on mining pool stats for Satox coin so as you can see here there's a fair choice of different crypto mining pools that you can choose from but for the sake of today's tutorial we're going to be using crimsonfusion.org so what I'm going to do is go ahead and click on to this as you can see I've got my wallet address just up here and as you can see here as i've only just started on just jumping back onto this pool today you can see that my hash rate and everything like that and coins are ever so slightly still loading up so let's go and look into how we can get ourselves set up to mine so we've already got our wallet installed and we've got ourselves a wallet address so what we need to do is go in here paste in our wallet address that we grabbed before and then we need to figure out which mining software is the software that we're going to be using so for today's video we're going to be using G miner so we're going to take ourselves over to their github like I said guys we'll be leaving all the links for you guys down in the description we need to go ahead and download the Windows 64 zip version once this has downloaded now once your G miner has downloaded let's go ahead and click on this and take ourselves to our desktop now what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to create another folder call this G miner then 
grab and drop every single one of these into the folder. Let's take ourselves back to our internet browser that we just had there before. If we go on the connection and we put back in there our mine address and the name of your worker. So for this instance sake, this one's called 3090. And what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to copy to clipboard the script there for the G minor. So let's take this back. Now we're in our G minor folder that we just created and because there isn't one already on here let's go and take the we won't do the competitor we'll do the one that's just underneath it we'll take radiant out of there paste that into there now just make sure as well because like i say this is the first time i've set this up so as you can see here when you copy and paste it from there the user does need just one space forward to make sure that it's accurate remove that null Control save close this off let's rename this Call it Satox. And let me just close off my one that I'm currently using at the moment. And if we click on this, we should now be successfully mining on Satox coin to our own wallet that we have set up. And there we are. You can see the GPUs is going in. And whilst this is loading and setting up for yourselves, one thing I would recommend is to take your wallet address from here copy and paste that like i say you can grab it from your wallet if you need to take yourself back over to the pool and just paste that in there and press enter and wait for it to update and let you know your statistics so as you can see here it lets you know some of the the blocks and the rewards that, that, that the pool has found and you can see here the amount of shares that i've already sent through at the moment and what the current average hash rate is so my current average hash rate for this uh, 3090 uh, if i'm if i do believe correctly uh, i do believe it runs around about 50 to 60 something mega hashes uh, once it has averaged itself out now let me know down in the comments section Right guys, so that's the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and maybe drop a comment down in the comment section if you guys are currently mined on Satox coin at the moment, whether you've mined on it before, or maybe even if you're using the play to earn feature and you're my, or you're playing on some of their games and earning the coins. Maybe let us know down in the comment section how much you guys are earning from playing the games, and also let us know whether it's something that you guys are going to be mining on going forward within the future. Right guys, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.